Jemima. Hi, Trini. So, there's a rail today, which means what? Closet confession? Yes, it is, but it's in the studio because I'm doing a shoot for what we call BAU, which is business as usual. So I got a whole mixture of things of which we called some in. So some of them I haven't bought and some of them I'm going to buy because I think they're great. So it's just like a hodgepodge of Design it to high street things that are out there. Starting with this suit. Yes, where's it from, Trini? This is from Zara, and it has a belt, which, I, which I'll take it off this one because we've got different sizes. Okay, so you can wear it like that. Little bit of bare yeah. midriff. Lila the other day was saying I shouldn't show my midriff off. <laughs> or you can belt it. And if I belted this, I'd probably, you could do a tie or you could do a um, bow. But you could do tie like that and sort of do that elongation take a step back from over just yeah. to see, you know, let the flow of the belt. Or you could just come in and think, I'm going to do a little bow like that. That's there. cute. You know, and just have it the same length as the jacket. Okay. But it's a very good shape. I love the way it just kind of, you know, with things like this, I always check if the buckles of the, of the belt loops are at the place of my waist. And are they? And this are a tiny bit high, so I'd probably cut them off and then put the belt where it is at my waist. Okay. These are my 15 year old Prada shoes, which had been immaculate condition until Daffy had them in her mouth for three seconds. Oh, no. Look, I know. Can we talk about makeup quickly? Yes, we can. What have you got on? So I've got on some John. He's gone to Lou. So, because he did my makeup. Let me remind myself. Yes, darling, what have I got on? Oh, yeah. You've got magician as a base, yeah. and we put star in the middle, and mm -hmm. then on the cheeks you've got flush blush in the color wigs. Yeah. And then lips is Eugenia lip locks with the beautiful Dido sheer shimmer. Oh my Thank god, you. that was it was just like from John. Next outfit. So same white suit again from Zara, but this time I put a long sleeveless top on underneath, and this is from 16 Arlington. But we have got over the years, all of us. H&M do really good versions for like 20 quid, so you can get this easily. This happens to have long sleeves, and I find it difficult to have long sleeves. But I like the fact that I'm adding the sequin here because we could do that, and it would just feel nice, but a bit boring. And I think by making it more sporty and putting that up, it's fun, especially if I'm gonna wear it with a trainer, and I'm not going to have the belt anywhere in sight. So I'm just casualizing it. Yeah. in the way that you do with white suit with sequins it really changes the jacket putting yeah, the sleeves it up it does because it becomes more of a blazer and less of a suit yeah. top jacket also with all of these sequin looks Trini you've kind of gone for minimal accessories yeah. is that because the they're like the key the sequin is the necklace it is the bracelet it is the belt it's everything I love it I mean <laughs> dress of dreams we always love the vampire's wife and it's very difficult to say hey because it's not Zara and it's not inexpensive, it's really expensive. But if you're looking for your wedding dress and you want to be different and you're getting married again, if you're looking for that masterful investment piece that then you will use again in your life, you know, something where you need the wow picture, the memorable day, something timeless about it and yet modern. And that's what Vampire's Wife does really well. It's like a Devore velvet, silver, incredibly comfortable, shoulder pads, I've got my own underneath because it has an inset sleeve and it made me narrow shoulders. So I had to bring out the shoulders because otherwise it actually made me like sort of this at the top. But the flow of this dress is so beautiful and it's so comfortable. And I just feel like a sort of fairy princess in it. There's something about what sleeve and height of, this is a generic thing now, when you're thinking of your dress, if you're, you know, 20, 30, 40, you can do a slightly higher waist, you can do a pretty feminine sleeve. When you get to 50 plus, little things that you put on a few years before you might find suddenly look too little girly. So if this was sort of elasticated and all frou-frou, it would be too little girly for me combined with a slightly higher waistband. But because it's just a fluted sleeve and you don't see exactly that the waistband is actually cut mm -hmm. here, I can get away with it. And when I'm looking to really invest in a dress, there was one similar to this, but it had a little bit more little girliness to it. And I thought in a, a few years, I will feel it's too, way too little girly for me. Mm. So think about those kinds of things too, when you're spending a lot of money investing in a dress, how long will it be in your wardrobe? And how long will you feel that style really suits you? You might be able to rent this one as well if you find yeah, it. Because Vampire's Wife, you can rent from her and that's such a brilliant point. Yeah. And when we think of these dresses, which we look at, that's such a good point, Mama, where we sort of think I'd love to, but it's too much. 
rental is a brilliant alternative because you know some people only wear a dress three times and it stays in their wardrobe and they spend a fortune but if you rent it could be from 30 to 100 pounds for a rental for something that might be from 100 pounds to 2000 pounds so you know you weigh up how much you want to spend for that special night it's a favorite so far more sequins so this is an oldie for my wardrobe it was in the sale and i got it for 60 percent off and it's a very man's cut but it's really good sequin and the trousers are quite high-waisted and i can wear them like this or i could do a little you know um uh, elastication and just make mm -hmm. them slightly balloon like I remember I wore this when we picked up the best skincare award from Women's Wear Daily last December, and I felt that it combined everything of the favourite way I like to dress, which is that sort of androgynous tailoring, but with sequin. So yeah. You can imagine I love it. And the top is tibby. Oh, yeah. And you do often wear it together, don't you? Yeah, I do. I wear it a lot together. I sometimes will wear the trousers on their own by doing that um, gathered yes. up. Yeah, show us. So, this is when you just want something a bit different. So, generally, I put something in that's easy and won't stop the circulation. Circulation, <laughs> exactly, Jemima, on my legs. If you've got a really pair of trousers that you feel is at a boring length and they feel old fashioned, this is one of the best ways to just give them something else. You know, just gives them a different look. Oh, yeah. It's the emphasis on the ankle. You can do it with a trainer or you can do it with something else. All right, cool. Yeah. Next outfit, John's just going, well, look at that. Oh, you see, do that so often, I'm, John. I'm not never see you do that. Yeah, I've gone on holiday tomorrow. This is one definitely get happier I mean, this, then. like, makes you have two pairs of trousers. It's wild. It's John, can I ask you about the lip, please? Yeah, we've yeah. just saying it's a sheer shimmer in the colour Jacinta. <laughs> sheer shimmer in the colour Janita. Oh, Janita. <laughs> That's all right. I know he's only worked here three days. <laughs> what, did I, what did I say? <laughs> Jacinta, which is a gorgeous name, Who but Janita is, is our head of finance, she's also gorgeous. <laughs> Alright, this is a suit I will never be buying. As I said, in this conference, this is kind of wish list, called in for a shoot, love to buy, it's a Trini London Yellow. I had one other suit from Alex Perry that was a perfect Trini London Yellow, but unfortunately the arse really sagged. Um, so I still have the jacket, but this suit is glorious if it's like a glove, I'd love to. But it is criminal, the price of it. Criminal. Where's it from? It's from Gabriella Hurst. And when I was in New York a few weeks ago, um, I went to Virgil Goodman just to look at things. I didn't buy. And there were these two amazing women walking around. They had this suit on in autumn colours. There was one sage green, there's a burgundy. So if money is no object and you like suits, then I think Gabriella Hurst makes some of the best tailoring. And I love it, so it's very nice that I can wear it and enjoy it for the shoot. And yeah. It goes back to its home. Anyway. Where's the mesh from? The mesh is from Zara. Oh, and it's cropped. And it's cropped, yeah. I know. We're okay. going. Lila, sorry. What have you done? Okay, so on the eyes, I just did a base of Empress and eye to eye. And then on the top, it's just fortune. And then the cheeks, we went in with lip to cheek, Sha Sha with a sheer shimmer, Maiko, and it's also placed on the lips too. My favorite look for when I'm wearing yellow. It's done. This is our final closet confession moment. Victoria back in dress, do you remember when I showed you the lilac and I asked you whether I should get it? And you did like it, but I sent it back. And also I think it was too tight. So I've got this to size up. It is also just about Trini London yellow compared to that yellow suit. <laughs> This one is a very good shape dress. And I think what's good is, it's not totally cut on the bias. I'm not good with cut on the bias. The way you tell if the dress is cut on the bias is when you hold it up, you get this kind of wriggle in the hem. And that's because cut on the bias means the fabric is not straight up or down. It's been turned at an angle and it hugs with your um, figure. So think any 1930s dresses, long, nighty dresses, there's a cut on the bias because they wanted to kind of cling gently to your curves and show off hourglass figures, which they do beautifully. But if you're proportionally quite hippie, straight is generally a better shape than cut on the bias. So this is cut on the bias, but oddly, because you have this gathering here, it's cleverly done and because the shoulder is broad, and I've got my secret Amazon shoulder pad in here this way round. Yeah. It makes the dress broader and it gives more shape. It does. Good new shape. And do you prefer it to the purple? Well, I mean, I prefer, you know, <laughs> so yes. 
going back to the same. Yeah, we're just going back to the same. So uh, base is Empress, eye to eye with fortune on top. And then lip to cheek and Shasha, and then a sheer shimmer in my coat. And if you have uh, lips that are can take the concealer brush, I love putting lip on with yeah. the concealer brush now. Yeah, me too. I, yeah, and I used to do it with a fuzzy bit of the tea kit, but it's actually a really good brush. If your lips are quite thin, the delicacy of the lip brush in the tea kit is better. Yeah. But if you want that slightly undone look. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've started doing that and it's so it's cool. Nice, it? yeah, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Great. So okay. this is the final look. This is it for the day after this come the dressing gown shots, which are pretty wonderful. So until next time, thank you, Jemima. And um, thanks, Annie, for getting all the things in. And we're going to be doing a few more sort of one look, ten ways, um, plus confessions for the next few weeks. So is there something that you would like me to do a few different ways um, that might be a more generic thing in people's cupboards um, and we sort of go back to basics a bit or something more very summary Yes. for those of you who are looking for hot weather inspiration. Oh, thanks for letting us come, Trini. Bye.